All right, what's good, guys? So I know it's crazy. I'm back for a second day in a row. Can you believe it? But yeah, anyways, I'm going to be showing you guys this deck today. Um, It's the RG Cycle deck with Monk. Probably, in my opinion, the easiest deck to pick up in the entire game. Um, So like if you're looking for a deck to just to get rewards for a global tournament, just to get good at the game, like in general, um, that's like you're looking for a meta deck, then this is definitely the deck for you. I'm going to show you how easy it is just to win games. You don't really have to make outplays. You just have to make the right play. And you should have like literally i have like an 85 percent win rate with this deck um even when i'm playing it against really good players like in crl i played it um just a bunch of different times it's just the deck's really solid overall and it doesn't have many weaknesses it's one like weakness is kind of like hog cycle decks or just maybe like balloon cycle um those two are pretty tough even though you do have the archers and the phoenix for balloon um hog is really quick cycle and it's hard to defend um, since you don't have a building, obviously. But yeah, other than that, the matchups are really, really good. So yeah, anyways, this guy's going to go ahead and be playing Minor Wall Breakers with a Mighty Minor version, which is fine with me. Um, really bad ability by him, actually. Pops it way too soon, but yeah. So main concern in this matchup, we need to make sure we don't let any Wall Breakers connect that are... Like, we need to make sure he doesn't get too much damage on one of our towers, um, especially in single elixir when you can outcycle our barbarrel and our goblins and stuff like that. So yeah, just gonna be patient here. Go for goblins in the back. Okay, he's gonna wall breakers. Um, if I had log, I could log those, but I prefer the barbarrel personally, just because it gives you a little bit more of, um, gives you a little bit more of like that offense when you're going in, um, as opposed to the log obviously doesn't do anything. So he's going to go with another Mighty Miner. We can just go ahead and... Okay, he's going to go with that. We'll, we'll go Barbaral up high, and then Archer's low to DPS everything down. Um, he pops that way too early again. Okay, wait. Okay, yeah, he just overcommitted. He spent his entire Elixir bar on offense right there, so he's going to have absolutely nothing for this. Maybe a late Bomb Tower. That is not going to save him. Um, Archer should actually take out all these Goblins. Wow, Archers are so broken. Holy smokes. Um, okay, yeah, so there's tower just like that. If you guys didn't see what I did, I just kind of allowed him to get those two wall breakers on my tower, and I just kind of defended the miner lightly and spammed an RG at the bridge, since obviously he went in with all his elixir at once. So yeah, for the last 40 seconds, I just need to make sure I'm playing defensively. Gonna go monk up high. And uh, yeah, if you guys were wondering how I'm feeling today, I'm feeling a lot better actually than even yesterday. Um, my voice still doesn't feel quite the same i'm still coughing a lot but um it's definitely an improvement as to what i have been feeling in the past week so yeah pretty thankful to be doing a little bit better at least not sure if i'll be able to be daily uploading like this um right away but it might take a few more days for me to uh get back to that point but i should be uploading pretty consistently at least every other day um that's the goal at least so yeah we're just gonna kite everything back right here he's building up a freaking massive horde of stuff all of a sudden but yeah just gonna give him the good game and just like that you guys see how easy it is to win games with this deck in the next match here against rio from the brew crew basically um the reason i chose this deck over say anything else that's currently in the meta like mortar or um minor wall breakers like that last guy played i think this deck is the easiest to play overall because the monk ability is super super simple to use and i know obviously monk is a champion so a lot of you won't have it leveled up but i'm saying that um you can definitely play this in royal tournaments uh, grand challenges classic challenges whatever you want to play um to level up and yeah it's going to be probably your best bet just to get wins consistently um there's not been a deck that i've played where I've just won games by playing literally methodically and never, um, like, basically just never losing because the matchups are never, like, impossible, if that makes sense. There's all, The matchup's always winnable, is what I'm trying to say. So Monk's gonna absolutely shred this Prince and the Mega Knight right here. Look how OP that is. Like, it just threw both of those across the river. Like, what in the world did I just even witness? But yeah, we're probably going to pop the Monk ability here when he gets closer to tower, just to get that little bit of chip damage. And actually, it might even stay alive enough to get like a swing on tower. That'd be pretty clutch. Um, yeah, it's going to get two swings on tower, and actually Barbarian should get there too, if he doesn't defend it. So yeah, Prince, Mega Knight, definitely going to be... Oh my gosh, alright buddy, relax. I'm going to go Fisherman up high. Um, take a little bit of damage from the Goblins, but kind of had no choice right there. Um, it is a little bit awkward to defend bait decks. And like swarmy decks that's the one thing about this deck that is uh like a little weakness on defense but as long as you have your archers you should be fine 
So, yeah, just gonna set up my archers in the back. Since he put down that prince, he'll probably go with a Mega Knight the river, if I had to guess. So I'm just gonna go for Prediction Barbaro. Um, yep, there's the Mega Knight, so we're gonna spam a Phoenix on zero just to get the DPS rolling. Luckily, it is double elixir as well for us, so we can defend this pretty easily, I want to say. Um, not a great NATO by him, kind of an overcommit if you ask me. I'm just going to go RG the river, since we do have the Phoenix already up. Okay, he has wizard, I guess. So, not going to get too much damage here. Um, should get like two or three swings, though, which is still pretty good. Going to go Barbaral early to help take out that wizard, and then the skeleton barrel shouldn't do much since I have the archers. Going to go with the fisherman up high just to block, too. And, um... Yeah, we're looking pretty good. So we're going to keep cycling in the back with my Phoenix. Fisherman gets one swing on tower. Archers are actually going to get... Never mind, they're going to get onto the Prince instead. I can just go ahead and pop the Monk ability early so the Prince dash does not kill it. And then... Um, okay, we're kind of in a good situation here. Prince should die out. Wizard is kind of giving me a lot of troubles, I'm not going to lie. So Fisherman should take that out pretty quickly. We'll go Phoenix on top of the barrel here. Um, let's see, just gonna keep cycling in the back because we know he's gonna Mega Knight the bridge, probably. Okay, he's actually not going to this time, which is a surprise. Um, I can definitely just fireball this wizard, and actually, I don't even need to fireball because the wizard's gonna reflect on itself. Yeah, that's actually broken. That's game, what the heck? Literally everything just freaking evaporated on top of <laughs> what monk ability is so broken. What the heck? Literally one ability just won me the entire game in one push. Like what the heck? That last match is a perfect example of why I think the monk ability is probably the best ability in the entire game for champions. Um, that was just absolutely ridiculous how fast it turned the match around for one elixir. Like that's not even fair. So he's going to set up a tombstone. We'll just split archers in the back. Okay, he's gonna go Golden Knight. I think we'll just match that with our champion. Um, Golden Knight Tombstone. Not really sure what he has, but we'll figure it out. Okay, E Drag as well. Could be like a Golem deck. Oh, I'm just gonna pop the ability. Actually, now that I think about it, the uh, E Drag doesn't even chain to the like chain on the monk or reflect the monk, whatever you want to call it. So pretty bad ability by me. Just gonna go Goblins up high so the Golden Knight doesn't dash. And then, um, we'll just let the E-Jag walk into range here, cycle a Phoenix in the back, and kind of just reset. Trying to figure out exactly what he's running. It looks like some kind of Golem version, or like maybe, I guess it could be Giant as well. That'd be pretty weird to be a Giant deck, though. Just going to go Archers up high to snipe this Phoenix, and um, see what happens. So, going to Barbaral. He has Lumberjack. Okay, yeah, it's definitely Golem if he has Lumberjack. Wouldn't make sense to have um, Giant... Lumberjack in the deck, so just gonna cycle a Fisher in the back and see what he wants to do. So he's just gonna go e drag again. e drag's actually pretty annoying because I don't have a great response for it. Um, Phoenix, Phoenix is probably my best answer, like one on one. Also, I can snipe it with the archers later on, hopefully in the match. So just gonna go Phoenix early here. He's actually gonna go with his own Phoenix. We'll just fireball to kill both, hopefully. Um, yeah, nice. So we can do that, and then we can also go for a Barbaro because. Um, it's going to tank for the Phoenix Egg, and he's going to be forced to respond to that. It's actually going to rehatch. Yeah, nice. That's good for me. And then I'm just going to go Fisher up high, because he's going to pop the Gold Knight ability, probably. Yeah. So, hmm. I'm just going to go RG the bridge, since we do have the Fisherman down. And then Phoenix as well, because he's probably going to E-Drag, right? There's the E-Drag. We can just Fireball that right away. Please kill it. No, it's 1 HP. Dang it. His NATO, so it's just going to be a really easy defense for him majority of the time i go rg this is one of those matchups that's pretty tough so if we can win this one that would be pretty nice just gonna split archers in the back and um okay there's the golem we'll go really aggressive in the left side i think the play is definitely trying to overwhelm him in the other side because there's no way i'm gonna be able to defend a full golem push so just gonna go rg and then goblins to the river and then pop the monk ability right now um just gonna fireball the e drag so we can kill it hopefully nice that's really good um, just gonna go for a second set of archers as well, Barbaral to just pressure, and, um, we should get a bunch of damage here. Oh, Lumberjack gets pushed, oh, okay, yep, this is good, this is good. Um, we get the tower down to about a thousand, I'm just gonna play another RG, keep the pressure on. I don't think he's back to... Oh my gosh, that's actually insane. Phoenix, relax! Okay, Phoenix just took out the entire RG by itself, I think that's a little bit ridiculous but 
whatever. I'm just going to cycle another Phoenix in the back. All right. So we're going to have to figure out how to get this tower down. He's not going to go for another golem like that, um, like he did that first time. I'm just going to take a fireball here on top of the tombstone in the golden knight. Definitely can't play at the bridge right now. Just going to cycle a monk in the back. Probably going to go ahead and play my archers in the back as well. Okay, he's going to golem. That's a silly golem because I'm going to overwhelm him right here. Go for a phoenix up high and then RG the river. Also going to barbarrel just to kill this tombstone as quick as possible. And yeah, we'll fireball the e-drag too. No way. He it walked out of range. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're fine though. We can just activate the king tower with the um, golem right there and then pull in the uh, lumberjack up high. He's going to spam the bridge probably with everything he has. So we're just going to go for a monk. Okay, barbarrel to... Hopefully, oh my gosh, freaking Golden Knight, dude. We should be fine as long as I can kill this Phoenix pretty quickly. Um, just need to cycle two Fireballs on Tower. I'm going to go for an RG at the bridge while he's spamming. Okay, this is actually getting a little sketch. Going to go for a Barbarrel then Goblins to not let that Lumberjack connect. Archer's up high just to make sure the E-Drag doesn't chain on my Tower. Dude, the NATO is so broken against the RG on defense. Holy smokes. Um, it's like single-handedly countering it by itself. Just going to go for a Monk and then... Play a bar barrel, cycle back to another fireball and win the game. Go for goblins, pop the monk ability just to tank, and then, yeah, we're chilling. Seven seconds, go for the fireball for the win. Just gonna give him the good cane, that actually was super close. I do not like facing golem with this deck, but we got it done, let's go. Alright, I promise you guys this deck is easy wins. Hopefully we can start showing that in these games, even though they are pretty sweaty. Um, I'm just gonna have to go for a fireball on top of this barrel, because my bar barrel is not in cycle. Goblin should connect the tower, nice. Um, so it looks like he might just be playing log bait with goblins just to make the cycle a little quicker I'm gonna go fisherman low for this valk and then once this gets pulled we can archers to kill the princess And yeah, this should be a pretty easy matchup as long as I always keep my barber on cycle for his goblin barrels um, Or at least have a fireball on cycle to kill it. So we need to be careful of princesses the bridge um, To get damage in this matchup. I usually play rg in the back because they have a building most likely I'm just gonna cycle phoenix in the back here Okay, he's going to go for an early Inferno Tower. Kind of an interesting play. Not sure not sure if I would have made that one. Just going to go Monk in the back. And then we can Bar Barrel this Goblin Barrel. Nice and easy right there. He just wasted his building, so I could go in on the left here. But he probably has, like, Goblin Gang or something to DPS me down. Um, just going to Fireball this Princess. Yeah, that's probably the best play. And then... I'm expecting him to go in right here. Yep, there it is. So we're going to go Fisherman low. Goblins up high. Dude, Fisherman had me is like... Its HP is actually garbage. So... Um, he might Princess the River. Looks like he's going to be patient, which is actually surprising. going to go Bar Barrel for this Goblin Barrel since we got it back in cycle now. It's almost double elixir, which is going to make it a lot easier for me as well to keep up with the cycle. Um, can't fireball that in the tower, so I'm just going to go monk in the back. Let's see. I think we need to start an RG in the back here pretty soon. Um, we'll just go for Phoenix right now. Pull this falcon with the fisherman. He's going to fireball. What in the world? Okay, so he has fireball, not rocket. That's even better for me. Um, what in the world is that inferno? That's the most aggressive thing I've ever seen. I'm um, just going to go for a bar barrel to clean all this up. Don't really want to deal with that. So, yeah. Inferno's out of cycle. We can just go archers for the barrel. And then, we you know, he doesn't have rockets. So, we can kind of stack here. Um, go for a monk in front of the RG. It's always good to get your monk down in front of the RG. And if he's back to Inferno, he's going to give me a really good fireball with this princess. Yep. And then, just like that, we should actually be able to win the game. Fireball takes out the Inferno right there. And then, the Goblin Gang's going to... Do a pretty good job against this RG, but we still get like three shots. I'm gonna go for a bar barrel as well to keep the pressure on. Um, really aggressive princess by him. Just gonna go ahead and probably reset with another RG in the back. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna go goblins on defense here first to clean up the barrel, and then we can set up another RG here. Okay, he's gonna spam pretty hard. Um, we are back to Barbarrel, though, for this gang. Should clean that up pretty nicely. Oh, that should kill a princess, too, hopefully. 
Uh, good log by him to make sure it doesn't. Gonna go archers up high, just in case he wants to uh, inferno the bridge. Gonna go monk as well. Hopefully, actually, I'm back to RG. I just realized. I don't know how he got back to RG so quickly. That's the other thing about this deck. The cycle is actually pretty quick. We can just go for a barbell and then pop the uh, monk ability just to get a little bit extra chip here. RG. Oh, it reflects the log. Monk is OP, dude. Oh my gosh. Um, RG just took the entire tower because of that monk. And yeah, just gonna fireball for the win right there. And all of a sudden, we took the entire tower down from like 1700 to zero and literally one monk ability and RG push. All right, we're racking up many dubs with this deck. In the next match here against Zach, it's good to just cycle whatever you have at the river first play, like cheap cards such as goblins, Barbaro, whatever. Um, Hog's going to get one swing, unfortunately. That is the thing. We're going to face a Hog deck here, so it's going to be a little bit difficult. Um, we'll probably show you guys how how to how I play against Hog decks because there is a certain way you have to play. You're going to have to be decently aggressive, but also take a little bit of damage at the same time on defense. Right here, Musketeer is probably going to survive on 1 HP. If he goes for an Ice Golem in front, which he does, we're just going to go Barbarrel to DPS that down. And then, nice, we can go with a nice King Tower activation here since he plays a Hog in the opposite lane. Um, it's really important to get your King Tower activated against Hog decks because um, you need just the help of it killing the Hog a little bit quicker. Um, if you didn't notice, the archers, he played skeletons on top of the archers right there, and unfortunately, now the skeletons don't even take out the archers, um, with the tower support, like, they just get absolutely shredded, and the archers still get, like, 300 damage, so yeah, it's kind of insane, just gonna pop the monk ability, go goblins, and then phoenix for this hog. He's gonna get two swings on the right here, unfortunately, not really much I could do about that, though, um. Yeah, the Musketeer in the middle is going to clean up everything since I don't have the Monk ability. And yeah, so the Musketeers are going to be a pretty big problem in this matchup. I'm just going to go ahead and play my Barbarrel early here. Cycle Fisherman in the middle. And then, um, geez, this Musketeer. Going to have to go with the Goblins late just to make sure it doesn't get that last swing. Um, let's see, can I just ignore this? I think I'm just going to ignore this, take the shots and then go for an RG in the back, even though it is a lot of damage to take. I think that's probably the right decision here. Um, we also have Monk in cycle. We have a really good cycle for offense right now. Just going to slap down the Monk in front of this early here. And then... Okay, here's the play. So I'm going to pop the Monk ability to kill the Musketeer, and then Fireball the Cannon, I think, is the move. So we're going to do that. Hit the Fireball on the Cannon. Go for Archers up high to DPS. Oh, he Fireballed! Whoa, what just happened? He Fireballed. He tried to Fireball on top of my push, but the Monk ability was active. And the RG is taking his entire tower. He can't do anything. Phoenix is on tower. Barbarian's on tower. Everything's on tower. His tower's gone. What the heck? Freaking, yeah. Monk ability, once again, carries me this entire way through this game. That's actually insane. Kills the entire... Oh my gosh. Fireball just completely blows up in his own tower. That's the funniest thing I've seen all day. I'm um, just going to spam to get the extra crown. Since this is the global tournament, you know, why not? Um, we'll take the two crown. But yeah, that's actually insane. This is usually a really, really bad matchup. But one monk, once again, changes the entire dynamic of the whole game. And uh, flips it into my favors from that one single push. Yeah, so yeah, GG's. Alright, I still can't believe that last fireball from that last game but yeah anyways we're gonna hop into this final game here um as you guys can see this deck just absolutely insane really no weak points even hog cycle we man we managed to beat that with relative ease did take a little bit of damage early on but like didn't really struggle at all um to get that damage back when i wanted wanted to get it back um so I'm just gonna cycle monk in the back here looks like he's got a flying machine okay interesting so it could be like a mortar deck Monk's going to be very handy against Flying Machine because it can just reflect its ability and kill it. Um, that's probably my favorite thing about the Monk like against the Flying Machine is that it just is finally a counter. Because Flying Machine has very few counters in this game. It's actually such an annoying card. As you guys know, when I play Ice Bow, it just gets infinite value against me. So um, I definitely am not salty about that. Going to go Archers in the back. Unfortunately, Phoenix actually takes two shots to kill minions, which does surprise me. I'm um, going to go Goblins in the back for this Miner, and then we'll just go for a Barbarian Barrel to kill the Goblins. And, um... Yeah, he's kind of got a split lane push coming at him. Wow. Um, let's see. He's going to play six Elixir to defend that. That's a lot of Elixir. Um, we'll just go Monk to counter this Ghost. See what he does for this. 
I kind of want to go in, but... Eh, yeah. Probably a good idea that I didn't right there. Just going to cycle Phoenix in the back for these minions. And then we can go Archers to help out right here. The DPS of the Archers should take out the minions, actually, one-on-one, -on -one, which is insane. Um, and then... Oh, I'm really tempted to just, like, slap an RG in front of this, but... It's too aggressive. There's no need for me to be aggressive in this moment. Um, we should be able to win. Majority of your pushers are going to come in double elixir with this deck. So, um, yeah, it's nice to be a little bit patient, even though you could definitely go in more often. I'm um, going to go goblins at the river right here. And then just go for a monk in the back. Cycle of Phoenix in the back as well. Um, we'll go archers low. See, this is a pretty good setup right here. I'm going to go ahead and pop the monk ability to kill the archers, then go for the RG, and then also fireball these minions as well as the mega knight, and look how much damage we have killing the mega knight right now. Monk is just popping it. The phoenix and the archers just absolutely wrecked it, and we're going to get a big push right here. Um, so we get like a thousand damage. Honestly, I was expecting to get a little bit more out of that, but you know what? We'll still take that. Um, going to go goblins up high right here, and then archers just to make sure this machine dies. Um... Go for an RG at the river. Okay, we're going to fireball these archers. It might seem a little bit aggressive since he does have the flying machine, but we have the monk and we can pop the monk ability if we need to. Um, he's going to go for the machine here. Just going to cycle another phoenix in the back. Wow, phoenix just took out that entire uh, flying machine. That's insane. Um... Fisherman's going to tank enough for this Royal Ghost where I won't have to do anything. And then we can just go ahead and play Monk at the River. And then play the RG after the Monk. It's nice to support your Monk with the or the RG with the Monk because you can just reflect everything on top of um, whatever he plays. So RG's going to get two shots. Um, put us in two Fireball range, I believe. Yeah. So let's see. We need to take out these Archers with the Barbaril. Go for a Fisherman for the Mega Knight right here. And then we can go for a monk low just to make sure this doesn't break through. Archers are just cleaning up absolutely everything. We can pop the, the uh, flying machine ability, or the monk ability to kill the flying machine, excuse me. And then hit him with a good game right there. Honestly, just another dominant performance. There's nothing he can even do. Like, this deck is so strong, it just destroys 90% of the decks in the meta. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.